so glad you're here with me again today. We've got another story about a surprise, and this one is even called Memory and Surprise. It's from the book of Luke, chapter 24, verses 13. How do you recognize a friend? By hair color, clothes, or voice? We have many ways to remember, remember people who are important to us. In this story, Jesus' friends recognize him when he does something. Cleopas and his friend had gone to Jerusalem with Jesus. Now they were leaving. Jesus was dead and they were going home. They were walking on the road to Emmaus, talking about all that had happened. A stranger caught up with them and asked, What are you talking about? You're coming from Jerusalem. Don't you know what happened there? They asked him. Haven't you heard the news about the prophet killed in Jerusalem? What news? The stranger asked. Cleopas explained, Jesus was our friend. He talked about loving others. He was God's prophet. Many people followed him. We thought he would be the one to save us from Roman rulers, but some leaders in the government thought he was too dangerous. They killed him three days ago. Today, women went to his tomb. They said the tomb was empty. They saw angels who said that Jesus is alive. Now we don't know what to believe. We are sad and confused. I know you're sad. Listen to me, said the stranger. Do you remember what the prophets wrote about the one sent from God? Then he told them some old stories about the one whom God, God promised to send. This one would show them how to live together peacefully. They continued walking together. As the sun set, they arrived in Emmaus. The stranger kept on walking. Wait, it's almost nighttime, said the two disciples. Please stay with us. The stranger agreed. When the food was ready, the stranger took the bread. He broke the bread into pieces and gave it to them. Then Cleopas and his friend saw it was Jesus who was sitting at the table with them. Then Jesus disappeared. Cleopas said, It was Jesus who walked with us when we were sad. I felt my heart shine inside me when he told us the old stories. They were so surprised that they didn't finish eating. They left Emmaus and hurried back to Jerusalem. There the disciples were talking about Peter having seen Jesus. Cleopas and his friend told the disciples what had happened to them. Jesus is alive. We knew it was him when he gave us the bread. The two men in this story didn't recognize Jesus when he was telling the stories. What changed that allowed them to recognize who Jesus was? When we're hurrying around, sometimes we miss things that are right in front of us. Take a walk around your house and see what you notice. See what's right there all around you that maybe you overlook sometimes. Which things there are most important to you? Now I challenge you to tell someone new, maybe call them or someone in your family that you see every day. You can tell them about this story on the road to Emmaus. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!